Okay, my name's Drew, and I'll be showing you a quick tour of Dropbox, which is a new way to store and share files online. What makes Dropbox different is that it just works, and there isn't any complicated setup or interface to learn. So let's get started. I've already installed Dropbox on a Windows PC and put a bunch of files in, and now I want to sync these files to my Mac. So to do that, I just installed Dropbox, and now I'm linking my Mac to my account. So in a second, my account will be linked, and you can see that the files that were on my Windows PC will start coming down. And what we're looking at is my Dropbox folder, which looks and acts like any other folder except for two things. One, these little green icons that indicate files are up to date, and two, anything in my Dropbox is synced across all of my computers into the web. And you'll notice that when I make changes, uh, everything syncs up pretty quickly. And as another example, I'm going to log in my Windows PC where you'll see that not only are the changes from my Mac already here, but if I make another change to a file, so for example, this picture of a platypus, and then I hit save, uh, the change begins uploading immediately. And when I go back to my Mac, uh, the change is reflected in a matter of seconds. So the point is, if you've ever worked with multiple computers or carried around a USB drive or emailed yourself files from work, you can see this is a much easier way of managing your stuff. And we also protect you from the bad things that can happen to your files. So if I delete a bunch of stuff, we have this web interface where you can not only get to your files in case you're not at one of your computers, so here are the contents of my Dropbox here, uh, but we have this show deleted files link where you can select a file that you've deleted and then you have an option to bring it back uh, in a couple of clicks. So I'll do that and instantly the file's back. And not only do you have the option of restoring the most recent version, but actually any, ver any prior version of a file, uh, because every time you make a change, Dropbox saves a snapshot. And Dropbox is also very efficient about the way it handles changes to files and sends only the pieces that change. So in the case of the platypus picture, just sending the delta saved over 80% of the bandwidth. So that covers a lot of how we make it easy to access and protect your own files, but the other half of what we do revolves around making it really easy to share and put files online. So normally if I want to share something, I have to send an email attachment or something like that. But Dropbox has this special public folder where every file you put in here has a URL associated with it. So I can get a public link and then I can paste that into an IM window or an email um, or a blog post and it does what you'd expect. So that's great for individual files, but we also make it possible to share entire folders. So all I have to do is right click any folder and then there's this option to share and then all I have to do is enter an email addresses of people I want to share the folder with and then when I hit share the folder that's on my computer will also appear on their desktops and as a better example of this I'll actually accept an invitation from one of my friends who invited me to join his shared folder so when I hit accept, uh, inside my Dropbox, there will appear this Dropbox trade secrets folder um, with files from his computer in there. And then when I put files inside, those will appear uh, on his desktop instantly. And then when I refresh, uh, you can see the changes reflected. Okay, so shared folders are great for collaborating on projects or sharing documents, or photos, or music, or any kind of file. Um, but the last thing I'm going to show you is the easiest way to put photos online. So Dropbox comes with this built-in photo gallery, which is probably a lot like the ones you've seen before, except that the difference is ours is tightly integrated into the desktop. And I'll show you what I mean. So if you have a folder full of photos, like this one here, all you have to do is drag it into the special photos folder inside your Dropbox, and when you refresh the photo gallery, Dropbox actually creates a photo album with the same name. Um, and all of your albums include these secret links that you can then share. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how much easier Dropbox makes it to share files. And with that, we'll wrap up. We're still in private beta, but you can visit us and sign up to give it a shot at www.getdropbox.com. Thanks.